Today we're going to take our Husqvarna T540 XP top handled saw out and we're going to run it and compare it to a CS2511T Echo top handled saw. Now, yeah, we know these guys are at the opposite ends of the spectrum. One is a, a big brute with a lot of horsepower, but weighs a good bit. The other one is the lightest top handled saw in North America. Packs a pretty good punch for the size of it. Now before we get into actually running the saws, let's give you a little bit of a comparison here. You can see the Echo on the left in this picture, the Husqvarna on the right. The Echo CS2511T is the lightest top handled saw in North America. It packs pretty good punch like we say for its size. The Husqvarna T540XP is one of the biggest and baddest top handled saws you can find. So not only is there a big difference in size between these saws, there's a huge difference between the carburetors in these two saws. The Husqvarna T540XP has what they call auto-tune, where it has a microprocessor mounted on the side of the carburetor that makes all the adjustments while the saw is running. So it will readjust the carburetor for altitude, temperature, fuel conditions, um, condition of the air filter, things like that. The Echo CS2511T has a regular style carburetor on there with adjustment screws. Now you can see by the pictures there is just a massive difference in the footprint of these two saws. You know one is a big behemoth and the other one is a tiny little guy and it's crazy how both of these are really popular saws in the, uh, the outdoor power equipment industry among arborists. So we have this perfect opportunity, like we said, to go out here and try them both at the same time. And we're just going to see which one we prefer best. But to give you a perspective on how small this CS2511T is, this is me palming it right here. I'm holding the entire bottom of the saw in the palm of my hand. It's crazy how tiny this thing is. Here's a quick tip when using an auto-tune saw from Husqvarna. When you first start it up, get ready to use it. Do a rip cut by just putting the tip of the bar into the wood and just doing a, a rip cut till you hear the engine finally steady and even out. It will recalibrate and adjust while you're doing this rip cut and get the thing ready to run a lot faster. We made the decision to start with the Husqvarna T540 XP and we went back and forth on which one to start with and we came up with a really good reason why we should use this one first. And we'll get to that part later on, you know, and why we chose this saw here to run first. But we're going around here just trimming up some limbs and making ourselves a little bit of area to work. And just running the saw for a bit. So we'll speed this up and get on to the uh, Echo CS2511T. Now we're on to the Echo CS2511T. We're going to go around here and run this, get a good feel for the saw, just trim some random limbs, run it through some bigger stuff, smaller stuff, see how the saw acts, see how it cuts, and we'll go from there. So we'll just speed things up here again. First up for some cookie cutting, the Husqvarna T540 XP. So as you just saw, the T540XP is a beast. I mean, it just cuts through anything and everything. So now we're going to go on and try out the CS2511T and do some cookie cutting with it.
So after seeing that, you're probably thinking, that Husqvarna T540XP is a beast. It went through that pin oak pretty quick, huh? Now the Echo didn't do bad itself either. You saw that, you know, for the size of it, plenty of power, didn't bog down, didn't stall out, didn't struggle, just did the job it's supposed to do. Steady right through that log the entire time. So if you had to choose one of these saws based on what you've seen so far, you're probably leaning towards that Husqvarna T540 XP, right? I mean, it cuts a little bit faster, seems to have a little bit more power, so why not, you know? Cutting a little bit faster, that's more productivity, right? Going to get you more money, you know, get the job done faster, that kind of stuff. Well, we got some more video to go here, so let's see how this pans out. So what are you thinking by now? You still thinking that Husqvarna T540 XP is the faster saw, so that would be the one to go with. You know, like we said, more productivity. That's putting more money in your pocket because you're getting more done in a day. Well, like I said at the beginning, that is a saw of ours. We own that saw, that Husqvarna T540 XP. But here's what happened. After using that thing for a while and then going over to the Echo, the CS2511T, that CS2511T is just so lightweight and so easy to use. We ended up just using that the rest of the time because it was just easier to use, plain and simple. You know, that T540XP, yeah, it's a big brute and it can cut through some big stuff, but it's a big saw. It wears you out using it. You know, that's a lot to carry around compared to that Echo. So back to what we said in the beginning of the video when we first started cutting, this is the reason why we started out with the T540XP. Just by holding these two those two saws, we had a pretty good feeling we were going to get tired of carrying that T540 XP around <laughs> compared to having the option of using that CS2511T. So what this really comes down to is, do you want to cut a couple branches or logs really quick, or do you want to be able to make it through the day using one of these saws? You know, fatigue is going to set in. So if you've got a lot of cutting to do, this Echo CS2511T makes way more sense. Yeah, that T540 XP will get you more production in a short amount of time, but, you know, over the long haul, you're just going to wear yourself out. You know, after a couple hours of using that thing, your arm and your shoulder, you know, your bicep, all that stuff is going to be done. This CS2511T, you're going to be able to keep going all day long, and it's not even going to phase you. This right here is a prime example of where bigger isn't always better. Fancier isn't always better. More expensive isn't always better. And I say bigger, fancier, and more expensive because, well, when you break down these two saws here, there is a big difference in size, but there is also a big difference in the price between these two saws. Here's the tail of the tape. You can see that the T540 XP has a way bigger displacement, and that thing is putting out about one more horsepower than the CS2511T. But... It weighs over three pounds more. The chain speed really isn't all that farther off for the CS2511T compared to the T540XP. Both of them have the adjustable oilers. The fuel capacity is more on the T540XP. The oil capacity is more on the T540XP. So normally, yeah, that'd be great. You can put more gas in there so you can run a thing longer. You can put more oil in there. So you're not going to have to worry about your bar running dry. That would be great under normal circumstances. But that's just going to add more weight to this thing, you know. Again, bigger isn't always better, and this is a prime example of that here. Now, you got the Auto-Tune. Personally, I've had no problems with Auto-Tune saws. I own this one and a 562 XP. And as long as you run good gas in them, you know how to use them, you know how to start them when they're hot, you know, follow the directions. They run great. Plenty of power, um, really good torque curve, you know, really good saws all the way around. But you have to get those software updates done every now and then. 
So if you don't have a dealer near you where you can get that done, that can be a challenge. That can be kind of a put off for a lot of guys. But, you know, the auto tune, that part of it there, I can't say anything bad about it because I haven't had any issues with mine. And I've had these saws for several years now. So um, Husqvarna has their air injection. Echo has what they call G-Force, basically the same thing. You know, it kicks out the big pieces of dirt and saves your air filter a little bit, you know, because you don't have the big chunks of dirt getting stuck in your air filter. Uh, you know, nice feature to have on both of those all. So now you get down to the price. There's the huge difference. The T540 XP, you're going to pay over $600 for this thing brand new at a dealer. That's the MSRP on it. That's the price that we're going off of. Depends on what size bar you want to get on it, whether you want a 14 or a 16. Um, you know, the price is going to jump up if you're putting a 16 on there. But most Arborist guys, you don't want a 16-inch bar on there. You're going to go with a 14, so it's easier to maneuver around. The CS2511T, that $400 price there, that's about average for a 12-inch or a 14-inch bar on here. The 14-inch, I think, might be a little bit more than $400 now, but still... That's a big difference right there. So you've got a saw that costs you $200 less, and you're going to be able to use it all day long because it's not going to wear you out. You saw there in the video, you know, cutting, it has no problems cutting, doesn't bog down, doesn't lose power. It's got plenty of power to do the job. Um, there's not really a reason that we can see to take the T540 XP over the CS2511T unless you have something where you need that bigger bar or it's just something that uh, you got to have that extra horsepower. And how often are you really going to come across that where you're going to need that and you're going to be willing to pay that extra money and you're going to be willing to carry around that extra weight? Probably not very often. Now we know a lot of people look at this Echo CS2511T and think, Wow, is that just a toy because of how small it is? But believe us, if you try one of these things out, you will be impressed. It is ridiculous how small this thing is and the power that it packs in that little package. Now, here's a little bit of an interesting twist on this. It was a little while after Echo came out with the CS2511T, you know, after all the other manufacturers were saying, oh, no, it can't have the power. Oh, what good is that going to do? It's too small, blah, blah, blah. Husqvarna actually came out with another model top-handled saw. They came out with one to fit between the T435 and the T540 XP. It is a T525. It's a lightweight saw with a regular adjustable carburetor on it, and it is made to directly compete with this Echo CS2511T. Now, even with this new model of saw, Husqvarna still has a big problem. That T525 is still more expensive than the CS2511T from Echo, and it still weighs more than the CS2511T from Echo. So there's not really enough there, I don't think, to sway people away from the CS2511T. If you take one of these things out and you try it out, you're going to be impressed. One way or another, you will be impressed with this saw. So if you're in the market for a top-handled saw, start with this one and work your way out from there. Chances are, once you try this one, you're not going to go to the next one. You're going to grab one of these and be done with it. So that's going to conclude our comparison here. Um, a little bit of a demo on uh, Echo CS2511T, comparing it to the Husqvarna T540 XP. You know, go out and give one a try. You know, try both of them out. See what you think. Give us some feedback. Let us know what your experience was and, and what you thought of both of these saws or either one of these saws that you've ran and uh, you know, got some use out of. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and keep checking back.